Hey guys, Michelle Edhouse here um, from Mickey Art. And today I am going live to say thank you so, so much for all of you who have watched any of my videos in the past. Um, I am so super grateful for everything that you guys contribute to me from your comments and from your views and you know, even those of you that watch the ads and so I get some money out of that, how does it get me better than that? Hi guys, welcome to the live stream. Um, there's a chat available if you want to ask questions, have input into what I'm going to do. I'm only here for like 20, 25 minutes, but I'd love to do a painting with you, have your feedback on it and um, and let's play together, really. We're, um, what magic can we create today? So. Um, I'm going to try and tilt the screen on my computer down so you can see what I'm doing so you don't get to see my lovely face. Um, how's it getting a bit in that? <laughs> so I'm going to paint on a record today. And so what, what colours should I paint, guys? Give me some hints and tips. What colours would you like to see? What style of painting would you like to see? Um, what, yeah, what do you want to see? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you. I'm so super grateful. We have just gone over the 500,000 views um, on the channel. We're over 5,000 subscribers. You guys rock. I'm I, like, this is, I do this for you guys. I do this so that you can have some fun um, watching, playing, being. Uh, I love to share the energy I be, the choices I create, and also the beautiful art. Um, So if you are, hey Leah, thank you. I've been wanting to do pouring but haven't ventured yet, says Pamela. Go girl, get it done, choose it. Leah says blue, pink, purple and teal. Teal, is that like, um, feels kind of like turquoise, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's what you mean by Teal, kind of a blue turquoise. Is that all right? Let me know. Um, so those of you that are wondering what I'm doing at the moment is I'm I've come up with this cheats way of covering the backs of my records, and it's called Duracell or book cover seal stuff. Um, and so you just Cut a few mils in from the circle that you draw around it. My knife probably needs sharpening. And um, by doing this, you know it's not going to stick out the edge by going inside it. And then you can just peel it off and stick it on. Ah, I'm not doing a very good job of this. I'm trying to balance and sit on top of tins. Isn't really working. Here we go. So what I also do is I get a piece of paper. Um, usually the backing off the previous one and just cut a piece that will cover I'm doing it again bounce that on my head that doesn't work um yes is there okay cool so it's a blue turquoise with teal cool I can do that you're first in you're first there how does it get any better than that um, so I just 
usually pop that on there. Nobody's told me yet how I should pour it. Oh, Monique wants some negative space. I can do that. I'm not fussed with my negative space white at the moment. It's gone a bit wonky. Uh, oh, South Africa. Cool. Congrats, says Monique. Yay, congrats, congrats. Yahoo, flip and drag. Okay, cool. Monique says a flip and drag. Okay, so that's easy. We've got pink, blue, purple, and teal, uh, which covers Monique's turquoise, because teal and turquoise can't in with negative space and a flip and drag. All right. That's a bit of a variation on my my new technique, which I've got a video coming out for you soon about. How's that? All right, so the next step we need is a bit of sellotape to cover our hole. Sellotape is, I don't know what you call it, past, um, just plain old sticky tape. And I cover the hole, make sure it's nicely sealed around that hole so that no paint can go pouring through. And then, ah, oh, this is the only part of this that can be annoying. Is getting it centered-ish. Here we go. How's that for quick, easy taping? And the more OCD you are about the size of it and the placement of it, the less you're going to get around the edges. But to me, the edges are the edges and they're always going to be the edges. It's not getting it really ugly and mucky in the center is my target with this. Um, if you don't quite place it quite perfectly, with records anyway, there's a, you can just cut it again, just like that. So it just means that when you've got paint covered hands and you pick it up to tilt it, you're not going to get paint all over the back. And why do I put that bit in there? It means that the sticky doesn't stick to the label. So when you pull it off, it's not going to um, rip your label. The only thing I've found with this is if you're going to try and line it up on a spinner, you kind of need to cut a piece out of the back, but that's okay. So there we go. We have our cover. We have that. We have some negative space paint. So now we need, what do, what do we say, pink? Oh, pink. Why did I even listen to you? <laughs> I hate pink. <laughs> do you really want to hurt me? Do you really want to make me cry? Pink. Okay, I'll do this, but only for you, Leah, okay? You and me, I love you enough to be paint, all right? Um, <laughs> where are we? Hey, Sam. Uh, can people watch you stream? Yes, if you have a channel. Uh, I'm not sure what the settings are, like if you need to have certain levels of followers to be able to do that. I don't know, read the instructions. Thanks, Sandra from Texas. Uh, kisses. <laughs> no, but it will be beautiful. wonderful, says the mate. All right, all right. Okay, pink it is. You're... So here's my shelf. Check out my shelf. I built it. Look, it's made of concrete blocks and a bit of old boxing from my husband's concrete pile. Can I shut the door so we don't hear that noise coming from next door? Somebody's making lots of banging and crashing noises. I'm going to do you a deal, girls. If you've watched my channel much before, and I do recognise your names, um, my crimson red 
when mixed with white becomes pink. Is it all right if I use that? <laughs> and that way when it mixes with the blue, it becomes purple. Are you good with that? Give me a thumbs up. Give me a yes, Michelle. We love you enough to let you do that. Yes, ma'am. Cool. All right, okie dokie. How does it get any better than that? So are we going for a dark blue, like phthalo blue? Or are we going for a lighter blue, like cobalt blue? Or both? Purple is awesome. Yes, I love purple too. I could do both, because then we'd get two different tones of purple. How cool would that be? Dark, 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 cobalt. Oh, it's free for dark. And Sandra said, yes, yes. Okay, I'm going to go both, because that's fun. So we've got white and red makes pink. Oh, we'll put some white in there too. Um, white, red, two blues. What was the other colour? Turquoise. Oh, we need some turquoise. Okay, cool. So I haven't got any turquoise made up, but that's really simple. Um, my favourite favorite turquoise at the moment, guys, is Viridian Hue. And I've been doing the cheats method. Um, Oh, you wanted more of the teal. That's less green. There is on it. Um, the cheats method for me is to get a whole a whole bottle and mix it up in a bigger container, um, and then you can then create with it already mixed. Um, I've watched Anne-Marie Ritterhoff and she mixes her cakes out of the tube and then adds her pouring medium. Uh, to be quite honest, that scares me. You have no control whatsoever and I love control. <laughs> Willing to be out of control in most areas, but this way I get exactly what I'm after. A um, bit of white in there as well. And I know at the time of creation that I'm going to get what I'm going to get. So let's just mixy, 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 mixy. Ooh, I like that colour. How's that? Is that a good tip? Teal? Or do we need more green? How long have I been painting, asked Sandra? Um, I've been, I think I did my first one back in September last year. Um, first acrylic pouring. Prior to that, I used to paint, you know, like realism. Let me show you. Um, let me show you my... Check it out, guys. That's that's my old style, and on the tops of the walls there. That's how I used to paint, and I got so sick and tired of having to take so many hours to do a single painting. It, um, I stopped painting. A bit more green says there. Okay, you're in control of the teal. A bit more green. There we go. Yeah. I'll try and be able to read and let you see what I'm doing. Uh, yes, you will be able to watch the video later on YouTube, Monique. Um, Pamela asks, do I mix with water? Yes, I mix with Floetrol and water. Um, people keep asking me, what's my recipe? Um, my recipe is I ask for paint. <laughs> Um, I'm I'm really into consciousness and um, asking the ingredients what they want. Is that better? Is that more green? Enough? Tell me. Um, but I've been 
since people have been asking me what's my recipe, I've um, been watching and approximately with the Reeves paint, and of course all paints are different, so and even different colours within the different ones um, are different as well. And so pretty much if you... For me, for Reeves, it's roughly two parts paint and one part Floetrol. And then probably almost another one part water, but that varies and it really varies. Uh, I've never really measured the water. I just kind of tip a bit in, stir it. No. Nope. And this is the consistency I go for. Um, it's quite thick compared to some of them. And hey, nobody's ever perfect. <laughs> uh, okay, so Monique says perfect teal and Lace is a little bit more green. Uh, was that oh, was that your last comment, Leah? Awesome. Okay, I'm going to go with that colour. Sweet. Sandra says I love your sense of humour. Yep. Some people call me psycho, but I'm not. I'm me. And that is a difference. Um, look, Andre, that only requires a tiny little cup on a big record like this. We're going to go with our flip and drag for us. We're going to be shooting it. No, no. <laughs> Yuck, gross. I'll show you. Look at this. This is from me going, ugh, yuck, I got it in my mouth. Um, that was that actually that big blue one that was from my balloon my first balloon pour that was gross that was really gross um, I haven't died yet it's not toxic enough to kill me hey Gail how you doing yes this is intuition will guide you absolutely and you know what um, questions people say to me how do you how do you how do you know um, questions is my suggestion. Just start asking questions. Do I have enough follow troll in here? Yes or no? Um, and what's light is right for you and what's heavy is a lie for you. So if, um, have I got enough flow troll and you're like, your chest caves in or your throat constricts or it's like the whole world comes down on you. Well, not the whole world, but it, it's, and, and you go, do I need more flow troll? And it's like, Ah, I can breathe again. Oh, the lights came on or whatever it is for you. Everyone's different. But keep asking questions and start noticing what awareness shows up. Body, would you like to drink petrol? Body, would you like to drink water? Ah. <laughs> I know it sounds silly. But, um, oh, you're having a problem with spell check too. I hate that thing. I can't have suggestive predictive without autocorrect on my new Samsung. It really upsets me. I'm not happy. Um, okay, cool. Hey, Leah, don't laugh your, laugh your ass off. You'll need that to go to work ne next time. <laughs> Hi, You know you're having fun if there's more paint in you. Yes, I get it. I know. In you, on you, all over the world. I've got it up all over the, all over the walls and windows around here. It's so much fun. Cool. All right. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to record this on my phone. This is, this is how I do all my videos normally. This is my beautiful Samsung S. Eight. I have a 12 megapixel camera both front and back. I like that. You don't lose it when people, when you turn it around to do selfies and it goes low quality, that sucks. Excuse my language. Um, what, 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 what are you doing? Hello. Okay. Um, ha -ha. 
This is the recording. Oh, I'm recording. Yay! Easy peasy lemon squeezy, but I am going to show you what I'm doing. Uh, what is the plant that you place your pieces on at the end of videos? It looks similar to our text below. Um, that is called a hebe. Um, I know that there are many, many native hebe in New Zealand. Um, they grow all over the native forests. Um, I don't know if they grow somewhere else. Like if there's other versions of hebe. Um, yeah, I don't know really. I love them and they're super easy to cut. Like to, to grow, well, I've got a whole heap of them because I grow them all from one part. They're sisters and brothers. Um, literally, you just snap off a bit off the top, peel off the little leaves and shove it in some dirt and they grow. They're really easy to duplicate. I like that. Ease is fun for me. Okay. So, walking a lot today. This is my water bottle. This water bottle puts water in my paint and in me. It's a very, very helpful water bottle. I like it. Um, oh, this is fun. I'm enjoying this. I should do this more often. I'm like, oh, full of energy and excited. Way. Um, all right. <laughs> I adore you guys. Thank you for joining me. Um, okay, so this is this is the paint I use. Those in New Zealand and Australia. It's from Bunnings. A four litre is like $21, which is like normally a four litre is about $80. So for those of you not in New Zealand, is your price compressed. Super, super, super cheap. Um, and it works. It stinks a little bit. But somebody told me that I should put some vanilla essence in and it will get rid of the smell. If you... Have heard of that? If you've done that, let me know. I would love to have more information on that. Uh, oh, all right, I'm going to do it um, this way. Uh, I need some silicon and something. Let's get down and lubricate it, darlings. Um, I always find it hilarious, people who are unwilling to go and buy some personal lubricant. Oh, my goodness, I live in a small town. One lady over in Whakatane said to me, I live in a small town. I couldn't possibly go to the supermarket and buy personal lubricant. I said, all right, go buy some treadmill lubricant instead. This is what works for me. Um, so... What am I looking for, guys? I want another tin. And look, nothing on the inside. How pretty is that? Can you see that? That's pretty. I would love to find somebody that lives nearby that wants to use my skins to make things. I make the most pretty skins. And because I'm making a video every day for you guys I don't have time to do other stuff I really need staff somebody to finish the paintings and somebody to sell them but you know what would it take the amount I get from YouTube isn't quite enough <laughs> to pay staff yet I'm willing to have that though what I'm doing guys is I'm just taking my phthalo blue and dripping it all over the place um, and putting it into a tin. So this, in the big pot where I mixed it, uh, has no silicon. It's just mixed paint. And what I choose to do is I choose to keep that separate. And when I'm going to put silicon in it, I put it into a, another pot. That way I have access to siliconized and unsiliconized paint whenever I want. How much fun is that? Use that if you want to. The teal, blue, and 
Do we still need the cobalt even now that we've got, like that teal is really cool. Do we want cobalt as well or just, just the dark blue and the teal? Come on, somebody. No, we don't need it to send it. All right, first and first, we don't need it. Gone. <laughs> what about silver? Yep, pink's coming with the crimson red and us and white. I, I told you that. I'm I'm white. Oh. Uh silver. Do you guys want some silver in there? Silver. I don't think I've got a lot of silver, but we don't need a lot, do we? We're doing quick and good. Okay. There we go. Let's get this party started. Whoop, whoop. We're going to put some titanium white in the bottom. And so we get the pink. We're actually going to put the red next to the white. Oh, God, I love you guys. I must do. So there's silicon in all of them except for white and silver. So let's go for a bit of a royal purple by putting that there. And then some silver. Oops, that's thick. Some teal. And some more red to go with the teal. And some more white to make pink. Because I love you. And that's about all we need for a flip and drag. Um, probably too much, actually. But that's okay. It's all right. She knows the mysterious queens of <sighs> For those of you that are like, I could never, ever, 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 ever talk in public and sing like that, drum roll, please, indeed. Um, <laughs> I've done these courses called Right Voice for You, and it's about being seen and heard in the world, and really cool. Check it out. Um, <laughs> oops, didn't see the white. Cool. Okay. So see, you guys are creating my painting for me. How does it get any better than this? So let's just hold that down and put some white. I've been finding that my white is doing really my weird stuff and I need to start playing with um, my mix because it's not it's doing a, a congeal the separated -y odd thing i'm not overly hot pleased with that all right put some of that white back on there okay I'm super excited for 500,000 views. Okay. I've never been particularly good at this. Because uh, I do things like big holes and then leave giant splotches. All right, it'll leave. That's a lot of paint. All right, see if we're going to get enough pink to keep them happy. Put on some of those splotches. Uh, 
All right. So this is where I start asking the painting questions. Like, what would you like me to do? Would you like me to do anything? What else can I contribute? But this is doing cool stuff. All right, I don't have a Zoom on this. We are live on my computer, and my computer does not have a Zoom. I'm actually really liking this. Sorry, it's not particularly pink. Do you like, do you like it? Yeah, you do lift the cup up a little bit, um, just very slightly. Like quite often, especially when you pour it, like you put the, do the flip cup first and then put the white on, you get like a suction happening. And so it's a little bit of a trick to break the suction without losing all the paint. <laughs> Takes a bit of a knack, which I'm still learning. Do you guys have large chain store craft stores to get your supplies? We have something called Spotlight, and they are super expensive. Um, I buy a lot of my paints. Bunnings is actually where I get my white house paint from, is a uh, Home Depot kind of house renovating kind of chain store. Um, but I get my acrylic paints from the local Emporium, which is kind of like a um, what, what would you call an emporium? Um, it's like a giant coin safe, but they are individually locally owned. They're not chain stores. Does that make any sense? It's not like a warehouse store that's chain stored. I don't know. Um, is it called ghosting or lacing when the paint goes underneath? Um, to me, lacing is, let me see if I can show you, down here, uh, there. That's lacing to me where it like makes holes. Ghosting is when it goes underneath like this. Um, I think that, to me, that's what those are anyway. I run a small bead and craft shop, but don't keep these supplies. The painting I do is fabric painting. Yes, I have. Um, I tried doing this on fabric. Just check out my T-shirt video. That, that was fun. Um, acrylic pouring on the T-shirt. I'm from the Netherlands and we do not have a Michaels. No, we don't have Michaels either. Michaels is an American thing. Um, I'm from New Zealand. Pretty, pretty, yes, Mo. Uh, I've got a little torch. In. Hey, Christine. Uh, Christine, I'm sorry. All right, cool. Torch. All right. Where's my torch? Torch time. Torch time. It's definitely got some bubbles on it, so it definitely needs some torching. Whether I do serious torching and get silicon to come popping up is... This is just a, like a little $2 shop type. So the quick movements I was doing initially were to pop the bub air bubbles. I'm doing more of a, I mean, it's only just warming my hand. It's not boiling the paint, guys. This one, you've got to be really careful with it because 
it takes a little while to actually stop the gas coming out. So you let the button go and then you have to wait a couple of seconds before it actually stops. Okay. So I'm liking it. I am liking it. For those of you new to my channel, this is um, not my normal angle. You would normally be seeing it from above and it's a lot better angle. But hey, we're live streaming. And out here in my studio, I can only get decent internet on my computer because my phone does not have a H uh, ethernet slot to connect to the cable internet. I'm just going around the edges, adding a little bit more paint back in to um, hopefully without the lumps. But the cool thing about negative space is you can actually come back later and touch up the white if needed. Hey, Julie. Looks brilliant. Thanks, Pam. Uh, oops, sorry, I forgot. I buy everything on the internet. I search a Google offer. So, cool. Hey, Yuan. I'm super impressed with you, Luan. I, I, I don't think I could hang off a bed and do this. You've got better back and tummy muscles than me. And I think you do it because. You don't have good a good, good back. That's bizarre to me. You're amazing. Um, very pretty. Nice. Good night. Your artwork is really beautiful. Yes, I use silicone. This is my silicone. It's dimethicone. Um, cool. All right. Let me bring it up and show you without dripping all over my keyboard. It's so cool. I like it. Thank you for the suggestions. Thank you for the ideas. And um, what do you thumbs up? Is it for crafting only? Oh, sorry. <laughs> it was in the middle of scrolling. It looked weird. What do you call the torch? Is it for crafting over only? No, these are sold more for um, torching creme brulee, you know, like caramelizing sugar on the top of stuff. Um, that's what this one is. And the one that my husband bought me, which is out of gas at the moment, which is my gigantic one, um, that's actually a plumbing and gas one that they use to soft. Um, do stuff with plumbing, I don't know, something to do with the pipes. Or... So you can get them all over the place. Yeah, Walmart, two-door shops, they're all over the place. And the cool thing about this one is that they're refillable um, just with the, the lighter refills. Um, so that makes them cool. Uh, Awesome. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me. This has been fun. I might do live ones a little bit more often. And um, so, hey, I've got a job interview to go and, get, and do. We're employing new staff for our concrete company. And, uh, you know, being a director, I've got to be part of them. And <laughs> how's it getting any better? So obviously, being live, I can't show you the dried result, but I will show it to you in another video in a couple of time, days' time. Thank you so much for joining. I adore you. How much fun can you have? And if you would like to come and join us on Acrylic Forum for Fun Facebook group, we would love to have you. We have no rules except one. We only have one rule. If you're not kind, 
you'll be warned. And if you are not calm, And what else is possible? I adore you guys. Have fun. See you later.